everyone, and welcome to the show, or welcome back to the show if you've been here before. Today I'm going to be talking about Bruce Boxleitner's The uh, Frontier Earth. <clears throat> Basically, uh, yes, and yes, that's right. When I say Bruce Box, Boxleitner, I am talking about, of course, Babylon 5's Bruce Boxleitner. Um, you know, um, basically, um, until like a, when I first saw the book, I didn't even know he wrote a book. I was just, you know, just at my local library, just looking at whatever. You know, looking at, like just going through the sci fi uh, aisle like I always do. And then I just one day just came across this book and was like, wait, you wrote a book? Hmm. And then I found out that he wrote like uh, this and a sequel called The Searcher. And so, like, hmm, like, wow, well, I should see how it is. Um, and I'll get into that later on. But right now, the story. Uh, the story is about this uh, dude named Macklin, or Maclean. <clears throat> As he uh, wakes up in the middle of the desert with amnesia, no memory of who he is or his past or whatever. And eventually, he goes to the town of Tombstone where he meets a bunch of different characters, you know, while, you know, it was, um, Wyatt Earp and, you know, the Earps and the Clans, and, you know, when they're about to go at it. And he, in addition, he finds out that there are other people that are looking for him, people who do know who he is, some people who want to help him, some people don't. <clears throat> and the whole thing is just his uh, journey into finding out, like, who he is and, What's the deal with the people that are hunting him or looking for him or whatever? And of course, you know, going in, going on during the whole uh, tombstone thing with the Earps and the Clantons going at it. And so, like, I'm, I'm, you know, just reading the Ford flap thing, and I'm thinking, like, wow, tombstone with space aliens? That sounds awesome. And uh, then I read it, and well, it was good. I liked it, you know, many of the characters. I also couldn't help but feel a little on the uh, uh, disappointed side, because I mean, like, Tombstone with space aliens. That sounds awesome, right? You know, <clears throat> and I was kind of having this whole picture in my head about, like, um, like maybe they would, like, interact with the humans, and the humans would, like, get the herps would, like, in clans would be, like, fighting with laser weapons or whatever. Because that is kind of what happens. You have like they, there are like the bad aliens who go with the Clantons, and the good a the good alien just sort of uh, doesn't really side with anyone. <clears throat> and you know they just want to keep things all nice and you know clean and clear. You know like Men in Black top secret stuff. And you know I just um, I don't know what to say. It's just. Like, like, it was good, but not what I was expecting, too, you know. <clears throat> you know, and, um, and there, there's a sequel, and if I ever do come across it, I might read it, I guess. The sequel is called The Searcher, and, um, <clears throat> you know, um, but, you know, like, again, like, it was, like, it wasn't, like, super awesome, like, or whatever, but it wasn't bad either. It was good. It was decent. So, therefore, I would like to give this my personal comfort level recommendation rating of a 4 out of 5. Recommended. You know, like, not hyper recommended, but still decent enough that if you come across a copy, check it out. You might like it. Yeah. Anyway, um, next time, I'm going to be taking a look at survival in outer space with the soon to be made into a movie The Martian. Until then, see you later. Keep yourselves awesome. Support your local libraries, bookstores with your patronage, money, donations, whatever. And if you have any suggestions for me or for other people who are watching this, leave so in the comment section below or above or wherever the comment section is in this as you are watching this video and have a nice day.